Hello headliners, welcome back to our channel. Today's video is going to be jam-packed with insomniac events, updates and information and answered questions about a whole bunch of festivals including EDC Las Vegas 2021, 2022, Escape, EDC Orlando and so much more so I hope you are ready. All this information was gathered from Pascual Rotella's most recent Reddit AMA I went ahead and I gathered all of the answers that I feel would be more beneficial to you guys if that's the correct way to put it. Um, so there are a lot of things that I'm going to cover. I will be looking at my computer screen in case you see me looking away so I hope you don't mind but we will get right to it. First question is um, when you are getting a refund from these festivals including EDC Las Vegas, are those service fees refundable as well and he answered that yes those service fees are refundable as well and now that we're in the theme of service fees somebody did ask why the service fees and Pascual answered that they work with these ticketing companies that need to make money as well so that is the cut that goes to these ticketing companies they have staff to pay and you know they have people to pay so they're able to process those refunds and answer all your questions get on the phone um, that is why the service fees are so high, but they are looking for a way to reduce those service fees when we are purchasing these festival tickets. And somebody asked if masks will be required at EDC Las Vegas 2021 of uh, this year in October. And he said it all depends on COVID safety protocols required in Nevada at the time of the show. Um, people were asking also about both Beyond Wonderland Southern California and Beyond Wonderland at the Gorge. It says here that Beyond Wonderland will be moving to the back updates of October 1st and 2nd of this year. And if they're not able to go through with it in this year, then it will be moved to June 2022. They are also planning to do a whole bunch of festivals in the Pacific Northwest, including New Year's and Halloween. So I'm excited what they're going to bring. That is very exciting. People were also asking about Day Trip that is one of their newest house music festivals that was going to take place on July 3rd weekend or is going to take place as of now on July 3rd and it is a one day all house music festival that is in LA and somebody asked if that was still going through the answer was yes but if they are unable to have it they have a backup date for October 9th of this year as we can tell already, October is going to be a very, very busy month for festival goers and just everybody working these festivals. So October is going to be pretty stacked. Um, so Beyond Wonderland, Beyond Wonderland, SoCal's backup dates are August 27 and 28. And if they can't have it in the August dates, then it will be moved to November 26 and 27. If I'm not mistaken, that is either EDC Orlando or Dream State date. So like I said, like towards the end of the year, these festival companies are going to be super, super busy. So somebody asked about if Escape was still going to happen in October. And he said, EDC Las Vegas has moved to October and Escape Halloween sound systems are a full go. Hope to see you at both. So yes, both those events are still happening, even if they're a week apart. And I'm very excited for that. Um, and then he, somebody asked, will parts of EDC Orlando be sacrificed since Vegas is only three weeks beforehand? How will the lineups be released for both since they are so close together? And then he answered, EDC Orlando will be produced at the highest level and no elements will be sacrificed. The lineups will be released independently of each other and further in advance than in past years. So since EDC, somebody asked since EDC Las Vegas is happening in October now, when when will we get info for next year's EDC in May? And he said information for EDC Las Vegas for 2022 will start getting released the month of September. So starting September, that's their usual timeline that they provide us with information for the upcoming EDC. So we'll be hearing for, it's kind of crazy how we'll be hearing for next year's EDC the month before this EDC, which is really crazy to me but very exciting okay so questions about hard summer the because hard summer is set to happen on july 31st and august 1st and he said that if it can't happen on those dates they have a backup date for september 11 and 12 
as well as November 13 and 14. So either one of those two backup dates if hard summer is not able to happen in July. And then somebody did ask about Nocturnal Wonderland and he answered, Nocturnal is still set to proceed as planned. Due to the pandemic, the country has yet to issue the camping permit as it usually does, which is why passes have not got on sale and there is only a wait list available at this time. We will provide an update once the permits are issued. If for some reason the event cannot go forward as planned, Nocturnal will be postponed to 2022 and refunds will be made to all headliners. This one I kind of don't get. I'm not sure if he's going to cancel. No, no there's no way he would do that. Like Nocturnal Wonderland as a whole if they're not able to obtain that camping permit. Um, but yeah, if they said if they can't go through with it this year, then it will be postponed to next year. And then for EDC Portugal, they did announce, officially announce today that we will get an official word on EDC Portugal on May 10th. I was supposed to be attending, but you know, all of those hopes went down the drain a few months ago. If I, it's not gonna happen, I don't think so. Somebody asked like three questions in one, which was really cool. So an in and out truck at EDC, that would be a dream come true, but listen for Pasquale's um, answer. Oh, they also asked about the, an EDC virtual raveathon in May to take place of what was to take place of what was supposed to be the actual EDC and also the Skylab stage. And this news made me very very sad. So for the In and Out truck, Pasquale responded, I'd love an In and Out truck at EDC, but that may mean your EDC experience would just be you waiting in line for a double double. The demand would be so great that they wouldn't have enough trucks. And that is true. That is very true. We would be in line waiting for hours trying to get a burger and that's not what EDC should be about. And then also Skylab, you guys, I am very sad to say this. It will not be happening at EDC in October. I think they're going to wait on Skylab until next year for May. And I am very sad. I think that was one of the parts that I was most excited about for this year. I love house music and Skylab was just going to... It's just something that I was very much looking forward to. And it's, I'm very sad that it's not happening in October. Um, but you heard it here first, folks, or second. Uh, there are no plans for a virtual EDC for this year because they, they're just so busy with all the calendar changes. But if they do decide to produce one, then they'll be we'll be hearing it from them. But it doesn't seem like it's in it's in the works right now. And then somebody asked about spicy pie pizza at EDC Las Vegas in October, and they said they are working on adding spicy pie to the lineup. You know, to the food lineup for October. Somebody asked about the EDC Las Vegas 2021 ticket boxes. He said, ticket holders will be receiving ticket boxes designed specifically for 2021, but those boxes will include extra add-on items and surprises that would have been in the 2020 ticket boxes. That's another thing that I'm very excited about for this year's EDC is the ticket box. I'm pretty sure that everything that we were supposed to get last year is going to be in there, plus a plus some additional items for this year so and especially after like this whole pandemic i could only assume that these boxes are gonna be jam-packed with stuff and i really really hope so because i love all those little extra merch items like stickers and keychains and i think they were supposed to have a luggage tag too so i'm very excited for that does insomniac plan to do anything special to com commemorate this anniversary and this return or should we expect the standard production Sorry, like the camera's right in front of my thing. And then they said, yes, they will be having a special 25th anniversary special show. At, uh, they will be having a special 25th anniversary show at Kinetic Field this year. And by the way, guys, he posted this picture of a sneak peek for Kinetic Field last year. If you don't remember, the, I think the, the theme was supposed to be Kinetic Zen. And here's a picture of a sneak peek for this year's main stage and i'm so excited and i just love it i feel like it's very og with the owl and all um somebody asked if park and raves i guess if park and raves will still be going on after the pandemic and after we start getting some festivals back and he said the park and raves have been great but they will be difficult to make happen once everything opens up so i am assuming that insomniac park and raves will no longer be a thing once festivals return tickets will go on sale more edc las vegas tickets will go on sale 
and he said yes more tickets will open up and they they will be announced soon uh, an on sale date will be announced soon and also um since there will be no skylab stage and i'm assuming that they're trying to expand this whole edc a lot more you know to have more room and less crowd less, less crowding um he did say that edc in october will have a larger footprint than ever before but the attendance will be kept the same so for anybody wondering if they will if they will have a limited capacity at edc las vegas if they are not they are just expanding it and that is pretty much it i hope you guys learned some great information in this video thank you so 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 much for watching headliners i hope you have an amazing rest of your day please 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 don't drink and drive and stay safe wherever you go bye